welcome back to another album review here upon the only YouTube channel. And welcome to the fourth installment in my Judas Priest review series. Leading up to the 50th anniversary of their debut album, Rock and Rolla, I'm going to be reviewing each and every single one of their albums. And then on that anniversary date, I'm going to be ranking them all. With, uh, since we are on the fourth installment, we are going to be looking at their fourth album, obviously. And that is going to be Stained Class from 1978. Before we get started, y'all be sure to drop your thoughts on this album down in the comments below. I would really love to hear y'all's. And with that out of the way, let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to be starting off with this review by pretty much saying this is probably my favorite Judas Priest album. It's the one that has some of my favorite songs by them without a doubt. It's the one, it's one of the ones that I listen to the most and the most days I consider it to be my favorite. There's a couple of other really, really great ones depending on they could claim the top spot. But you know about 7 out of 10 times it's staying class for me. Really like this album start to finish. This was the first album for pretty much a lot of fans for them. First off, it was the first one with their new iconic logo. Uh, the first three albums had a very much different logo than what we're used to seeing from Judas Priest. And this was also the very first Judas Priest album to ever chart in the U.S. Reached number uh, 173 on the Billboard 200 and it has since certified gold. So the first of many fans. Also, it is the first of three albums of classic drummer Les Binks, uh, one of uh, Judas Priest's most uh, iconic and well-known drummers, you know, being on this and Killing Machine and British Steel and, you know, those three iconic albums alone. Uh, just a uh, really great uh, run right there. And it all started with this one, of course. And this one has some of my favorite Judas Priest songs, without a doubt. My favorite song by them, coincidentally, I actually covered it on guitar last week, Beyond the Realms of Death. Really love that song quite a bit, but some of my other favorites are Exciter, which, you know, one of the most influential songs towards thrash metal, what would eventually become thrash metal. Always cited as one of those, and of course, White Heat, Red Hot, the title track, Invader, and Saints in Hell are all of my favorites, and I pretty much just named off uh, damn near the whole album, and that's just uh, goes to show you how great and influential and groundbreaking this album was. Of course, a lot of the Judas Priest albums are groundbreaking, especially Sad Wings of Destiny and, of course, Sin After Sin. But staying class, you know, bringing them just a little bit more exposure and having some of those very, very iconic songs makes it up there with one of Judas Priest's most influential and impactful albums towards metal. Of course, lots of bands cited Judas Priest as an influence going forth, and this album, I definitely feel like, is a big part of that. Another uh, noteworthy thing about this album is the song, Better By You, Better Than Me, just a whole history with that song. Uh, that so song is actually a cover song originally done by a band called Spooky Tooth. I've never heard of them at all. I've never listened to the original song. I actually didn't know it was a cover song until uh, reading about this album for this video. So I'll definitely have to go back and listen to that. And uh, what's interesting about that song is the 1990 lawsuit that followed 12 years after this album came out when two teenagers decided to uh, commit uh, suicide with a suicide pact. Only one of them uh, ended up passing away. One of them survived and died a few years later. But one of the families ended up suing Judas Priest, citing that that song influenced them to, you know, take their own lives. You know, myself included, a lot of people find that to be a ridiculous claim. I think something, you know, was really wrong with the boys to begin with. And, the, you know, the song had nothing to do with it. Kind of, you know, a bunch of claims with certain artists causing certain bad things to happen. Most of those times... Definitely not true at all, but I find it interesting to happen so many years later. And what's more interesting about uh, that song in particular and that story is that it was actually put in last minute. Because uh, I can't remember which, I believe it was the record company, wanted something just a little bit more commercial sounding since the album, you know, obviously by Judas Priest had a little bit more of a dark and sinister uh, tone to it. Which is funny enough that the song that they ended up choosing to be more commercial is the song that, you know, ended up getting them sued 12 years later. But I don't think they would have ever thought that would happen. But I always think of that every time I listen to Better By You, Better Than Me, how that played out. It's a very interesting story, but, you know, not take away from uh, the greatness of this album. Just start to finish, 
every track really really great stuff uh, i don't think there's a bad song on this album i think all of them are pretty well written and of course pretty well performed all the band members sound great you know this is probably my favorite judas priest lineup of course like i said first with les blinks but of course halford's here then kk and tipton and ian hill all the classic guys you want to hear well, from Judas Priest are on here just overall very good album very influential very highly rated album and you know like I said at the beginning of this video 7 out of 10 times uh, depending on the day is my favorite Judas Priest album so I definitely have uh, high hopes this will probably end up taking that number one spot whenever I eventually finish their discography for about the second or third time that I ever have and uh, rank all the albums again but yeah those are pretty much all of my summed up thoughts on staying class everything I felt like I needed to mention y'all be sure to drop your thoughts down in the comments below I would really love to see them so those are gonna be my thoughts on staying the class by Jesus Priest like I said drop y'alls down below I would love to see them also down below, be sure to check out the playlist for my Judas Priest review series. Got all of these reviews in that playlist, and we'll also throw in the album ranking whenever we get to that date in September. Also down below, I have links to where you can go follow me on Instagram, and to where you can go stream my original music. I got four songs out right now on all stream platforms. So, once you're done watching this video, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and giving the video a like. I would highly appreciate it quite a bit. And once you're done with that, blast stay in the class if you haven't in a while, and have a wicked ass day.